Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're gonna do a hybrid and mix two formats together into one and see how it goes. So I've got two things I wanna to talk to you about. One is the market value in Florence, something that we've been harping, a drum that we've been beating constantly on this channel where I'm trying to express to you guys unbiasedly that Florence, South Carolina really is quite possibly the very best market that you could buy into if you're moving into the state of South Carolina. And I'm going to show you yet another piece of evidence stating the same thing, essentially, or at least pointing in that direction. We'll talk about that in a second. The second thing is this breakfast sandwich. So I have been told that Bean Bar has the best breakfast sandwich in Florence. Now, I already told y'all in this video where we went to SC Real Foods that to my knowledge right now, at least, SC Real Foods has the best breakfast offering in Florence. And I don't really see that changing holistically, but also breakfast sandwich being part of that offering. They got other things they're doing there too. Now here, we're looking at strictly a sandwich. And so this is the first time I've had this sandwich and I haven't even opened it yet. I waited to open it with you guys. So let's take a look at it. This is Bean Bars. What should be in here is a bacon, egg and cheese bagel. Now we're in South Carolina and they did cut it and they did give me a knife, nice. And they did give me this jam that I asked for too. We'll talk about that in a second too. We're in South Carolina, so again, just like in the chopped cheese video, which was the also the SC Real Foods video, uh, there are certain items that we don't have a lot of access to in this area, specifically in Florence, that are in abundance up north. And so if you're moving here from up north, there's certain things you're gonna miss, possibly. And this could definitely be one of them. But let's take a look at this. Get that open for y'all. Okay, so bean bars, bacon, egg, and cheese, breakfast bagel. Let's try it without the jam first. So what I got was um, pepper bacon jam. And uh, they got different options. I put the picture on your screen of the different options you get. So let's try this. No napkins. So that's American cheese. Pretty straightforward. American cheese, egg, bacon. Let's try it with this jam. What I started to do was get a, because uh, McDonald's got the bagels back. I started to get a McDonald's bacon, egg, and cheese bagel and compare them side by side. But I didn't do that, obviously. Is it New York bagel good? I don't think so, but it is good. Now see, to be transparent, I'm more of a biscuit guy than a bagel guy to begin with. But yeah, this is pretty good. I wouldn't knock this. I wouldn't be mad at this. Uh, this bacon pepper jam, I like, adds another element to it that I like. I think it needs a little something. And they do make this in-house. You can see the date on the bottom. So this was made yesterday. Yeah, it's got like a smoky, sweet and smoky flavor to it. I like that. I paid $10 for this. And I would definitely say it's a better option than McDonald's. The bagel's better, and um, it's got more of a homemade feel to it. Plus, they got these different items you could um, put with it that McDonald's isn't offering. So, But they don't have a drive through So if you're okay with that, go to Bean Bar. Don't go to McDonald's. Now, let's get into the real estate side of this video. What you're looking at on your screen is an article from The State. The state being, you know, originally the state newspaper. And that article is reporting on a study that came out of a group of researchers from Florida Atlantic University and Florida International that came together to look for overvalued housing markets in the United States. And they put three South Carolina cities on the list in the top 40. Just for the record, the top five were Atlanta at number one, Detroit, Cape Coral, Florida, Tampa, Florida, and Northport, Florida. Now, this goes back to what I keep telling you guys. 
Okay, and this is yet another piece of evidence indicating the value in moving to Florence if you're looking at South Carolina. Because on the contrary of what's being stated about these three markets in Greenville, Columbia, and Charleston, there's a lot of data. We've talked about a lot of it on this channel. You can go through and, and look at some of the different videos that we've already put out indicating that Florence has great value. And so I've linked that article in the description. You can go click on it and read through it. But the takeaway and the bottom line is that yet again, we're seeing more indication. And I'm telling you that this is the case that, that Florence, if you're looking to move to South Carolina for whatever the reason, you definitely want to consider Florence. Now, drilling down into Florence itself, and I might, this would be a, you know, whole other videos, a lot of which we've already covered and plan to continue to, but Florence itself is developing and flourishing. It's growing. We've already talked about how many new housing developments are being constructed as we speak. There's a large apartment complex being constructed out by the mall. There's all kinds of things going on, not to mention the development downtown. There are multiple large companies that are here in Florence. The battery plant we've talked about extensively this coming, but there's Harbor Freight Tools right up the road in Dillon. There's Ruiz Foods. There's Performance Food Group down on 95. There's Honda out in Timmonsville, and there's Otis Elevator going right out towards Darlington to name a few. And so the plan is to actually just dedicate videos to talking about the different opportunities there are in terms of employment here in the city of Florence also. The bottom line is if you're moving to South Carolina, I'm gonna go as far as to say is Florence is almost the obvious choice. Of course, depending on what you're looking for, there is an element of the upstate that Florence can't offer in terms of geography. And so if that's your interest, then you need to go upstate, of course. But I'm just saying holistically, pound for pound, my assertion, and this channel has already been demonstrating this and God willing will continue to, the Florence, South Carolina market is the market that you really want to make sure that you do your due diligence in investigating. And so with that being said, I'm going to close. If you need any help with that and you want to reach out to me, my contact information is down in the description. We can set up a complimentary buyer's consultation. We can look at your budget, look at pricing, look at your preferences, your desires, your wants, your needs, and see if we can find the right house for you in the right location in our area. And I'll close by saying that as far as this breakfast sandwich goes, is it the best in Florence? So it's a bagel. So is it the best bagel sandwich in Florence? From any that I've had, it's, it's right up there for sure. Best breakfast sandwich wholesale? I still got to give the nod to SC Real Foods. I'm still going to give them the recommendation, but this is good. Um, I definitely like the bacon jam. I like the homemade appeal and effect. It doesn't have the same feel to it as going to get something from like McDonald's. It does have a very homemade feel in a good way, but it's pretty straightforward. There's not really a lot to explain or critique. I mean, it's American cheese. The egg that I'm assuming is fried. It appears to be fried looking at the edges and bacon. And then the bagels cook well. I mean, it's, it's crispy where you want it to be. So it's good. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of bells and whistles to it. The bacon jam does add another element to it that I like. So I'd recommend checking that out or one of their other mm -hmm. toppings that they offer. So again, that article is linked down in the description. You can go take a look at it. Scroll through the channel. Look at some of the other videos we've done. Make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for future videos because there's just more and more things to talk about that demonstrate the value in our area. And so if you're looking to move to Florence or if you're considering moving out of Florence for some reason, there's a lot of valuable information and data that's objective that you might really want to consider. So we're trying to provide a plethora of information demonstrating our area, not just in Florence, in the PD and in the state of South Carolina as a whole, but right now, in the early stages of this channel, most predominantly right here in Florence. And so with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go to Bean Bar, check them out, and pick up a breakfast bagel. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, on a Florence scale, right? On a Florence scale, I'd say it's gotta have, it's gotta be in a top tier rating. So compared to their competition, I say confidently, you're not gonna be disappointed if you're here in Florence. And with that being said, I wish y'all all the best. And in the meantime, y'all take care, and we'll see you on the next one.